Corvo, you see uh, Tarragon is looking uh, worse for wear. Um, uh, Corvo, that is your turn. So nice. You give so much just to uh, make sure other people don't die because you took so many lives when you were a soldier. God. <laughs> God damn it. You know, maybe it's not about when you die. It's about who you die with. <laughs> Take my blood. Jabari is not going to attempt non-lethal damage. Jabari, <laughs> Jabari full on drops the torch, pulls out his longbow, uh, quietly whispers, feed, and is going to, um, I'm going to cast sharpen the blade. Oh uh, gives me plus three to attack and damage. Then I'll take two attacks. Both of them are going to be with the sharpshooter feet. That's a minus five, but I have a plus nine, and I have a plus three from the uh, from the sharpen the blade. So this will be a plus seven to both attacks. Is sharpen the blade a um, bonus action spell? Yes, it is. Oh my god! It's like god. a it's a monk ability. Amazing. Uh, first one's a twenty-two. Yes. Second one is a eighteen. Uh, uh, yes. It's a minimum of 20 uh it's a minimum of 32 damage before i roll the d8s gone he's absolutely Great. gone and then with the biggest smile on his face <laughs> jabari looks at this pale body lying on the ground <laughs> and uh prepares to take attack take your shots okay first attack uh 11 Plus seven, so 18. 18 just hits. Um, so okay. you get under the armor. The rules of death saves are that um, melee attacks cause two fails or auto crits, but this is an arrow. So that's one death save fail. Great. Um, go Next ahead one. and make your second attack. You need to hit three times, Jabari. Not with advantage, right? I've lost, uh, The guiding bolt advantage is gone. Um, actually, wait. Well, he's prone. Okay. Oh, you're right. You didn't even need it. Let me look at the rule real quick. Attack roll against a creature has advantage if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. Mm. Otherwise, but the attack roll has disadvantage. Oh. What? Because he's Crazy. like down. So we'll say you've used your advantage on this one. You have to take okay. disadvantage on the other ones. Uh, well, I, then I won't because I'm not trying to do damage. I'm just trying to hit him. I won't use the sharpshooter feet. So these will be... Uh, these will all be plus 12 attacks. Okay. Uh, instead of <laughs> plus seven. Okay. Uh, let's do the first one. Let's let's do it one at a time. So second shot. Here we go. That's going to be a 15 plus a, the D4 oh. from the emboldening bond. Oh, my so God. It all depends on this. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> so you got to get a three or higher on the D4. That is a three. Oh, my wow. God. <laughs> Another arrow. <laughs> I'll use key on that as like a to do the deft thing, which allows for the Tasha's Cauldron key fueled strike, which allows me to use my bonus action to make one more attack. Uh, make another attack with disadvantage. That is going to be eight plus twelve <laughs> for a mod twenty. Wow, Jabari, finish him. Oh my god! I full on knowing. <laughs> And feeling what this could do, pull my arrow back to the point where I'm literally like splintering the wood of my bow. Uh, and, and then I look down at my chest piece and I say, I will add you when I return to my king. And I let it fly. You let it fly, um, pierces his heart. Uh, his breastplate had like moved slightly as he collapsed. Um, as guards and knights rush to go grab him, you see an arrow strike his heart, um, and you see um, with your hex blood night vision eyes, Weimer Bright Leap stops breathing. He is no more. <laughs> you have used your attacks. Um, you have used your bonus action, I believe. Yeah. So I just, I just, I guess I just start. <laughs> it's less. I you go start get to motoring. Do, I just start. Move, I move my full movement back. <laughs> And all the while going, your king is dead. Feel <laughs> your, king, your king is the dead. King, your, king. <laughs> your king is dead. I want to use my channel divinity. Balm of peace. That's B-A-L-M, but for fun, in, in battle, it's going to be B-O-M-B. -E. Okay. It's, oh, yeah. it's a bomb? Hell as, yeah. As an action, you can move up to your speed without provoking opportunity attacks. When you move within five feet of any other creature during this action, you can restore 2d6 plus four hit points to that creature. Okay. What I want to do <laughs> is I want to run a little bit backwards. Okay. So that I get... <laughs> <laughs> You're confusing the hell out of these soldiers. <laughs> 
She's flying. <laughs> she's gonna running backwards. Funky. She's running forward. She's magical. She's not. She's regular. So I want to <laughs> run a little bit backwards of where I ran so that I get within range of Jabari. And I'm going to say, Jabari, I'm going to cast a spell on you. That means that you can't attack anyone. Can we be okay with that? Uh, Jabari looks over at uh, Corbo on the ground and says, this one time, Jabari is okay with that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to cast Sanctuary on him. Okay. Until the spell ends, any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack or, or spell. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to use my channel divinity bomb of peace, uh, use the rest of my action and use the um, movement that I get from the bomb of peace to get within five feet of Corbo uh, and heal him for 2d6 plus four. Oh yeah, drop Unreal a bomb. Unreal turn. Drop the a turn bomb is out of control. God. I would like to cast Thaumaturgy on myself to make my voice boom to try to scare the horses. And oh, then that's an action. Go. And then as dumb. a bonus action, I'm gonna cast Sanctuary on Reynard. Oh. And I'm and just gonna dumb. say, I'd love get, to see you do something smart. Get yes. out of here, you are all acting goofy. <laughs> so it's like, I'm trying to boom to scare the horses and then protect Reynard a little bit. <laughs> Good God. Okay, let me. I just, I don't really want, I don't really want to feed him up to Prophet Gideon, but I'm not at the point where I feel that I can confidently attack Prophet Gideon. Cause right. I am like, this is like my last spell. <laughs> How far does Thaumaturgy affect? Cause you could just target Prophet Gideon's horse. Yeah, I'll, 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 uh, I'll direct it just at Prophet Gideon's horse. Okay. Um, and then cast Sanctuary okay, on so, Rain. Okay, <laughs> so a war horse, um, the wisdom of animals, a war horse has a plus one. Uh, we'll, we'll have it do a wisdom save against your uh, DC. Okay. Shout out to the two crew. Yeah. Oh! Um, <laughs> you hear this loud boom. Um, Prophet Gideon is fucking heavy as hell, full armor, standing up, full tilt, riding like a maniac. Um, there's this loud boom as if an explosion goes off next to him. You see, he turns kind of just mildly annoyed, um, but his horse rears up. And as soon as it goes up on its back hoofs, he tumbles fully over the fucking reins um, and lands on the ground hard. Um, you cast Sanctuary on Sir Reynard. Uh, he just looks incredibly um, frightened um, and he just uh, turns to you and nods and goes, thank you. Yeah. On Gallant Hoof to yeah. Honor? Way to do the calculated yeah, thing, honor's buddy. the other yes, direction, Gallant Hoof. <laughs> Is there any redemption for those that have been turned into these constructs? She shakes her head and she goes, the king has already passed. And as far as the prophets Gideon and Cain, as blades, they once were tasked with killing the reaper's horrors. Had they the capacity to ask you, they would want you to strike down the horror that they've become. I want to run in. These phantom warriors are undead, right? Correct. I want to run in so that uh, Prophet Gideon and these three phantom warriors all take my, my spirit guardians. The phantom guardians. warriors just count towards the lair actions. Well, I want to channel divinity turn undead. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all <laughs> right. Okay. And it's like, it's uh, everyone that can hear you thirty within 30 feet of you, So I, but I want to okay. focus on getting these three guys. Great. Prophet Gideon cannot be... Frightened, um, but these other guys are going to um, roll wisdom saves. First one gets a 10. It fails. Uh, second one gets a five. Fails. Third one gets a 16. That is the save. So, so that one passes. Yeah. You see as Tarragon runs in glowing uh, with holy energy, um, you see as soon as she gets near two of these phantom warriors, you see her spirit guardians, these smoke dragons breathe fire and you see whoosh, two of these phantom warriors dissipate and are gone. Bye. Um, and anyone who, and then Prophet Gideon and anyone who uh, is staying 
does a save or takes 19 damage. 19 oh. radiant damage. Shit. Hell okay. yeah. Hell yeah. Um, Prophet Gideon gets a 21. That saves. Um, other dude gets a 16. 16 is the save. Okay. On a successful save, they take half damage. So okay. they each take, I'm assuming you round down, nine radiant. Okay. That's, a, that's nice. how you use a damn turn. <laughs> Tarragon has just been knocked down. Uh, he's just like swung and cut through her. You roll in front of her uh, with one healing palm, slam into her um, and jolt her back to life. Uh, and with the other arm, go for like an uppercut on Gideon. Yeah, that's 100% what I did. You're like uh, <laughs> touching your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. <laughs> Multitasking. With healing and harming. Uh, and I'm going to use a key point to uh, try to make one of those melee attacks uh, a stun and strike on okay. Gideon. Okay. So he's got to roll a uh, DC 16. Okay. With DC 16, and he's rolling with disadvantage. with disadvantage. Okay. I will tell you guys, he has a plus nine to con saving throws. Okay. Cool. You could still fucking fail. You could still fail. Disadvantage because of hex? Disadvantage. Right. Okay. The hex way. That's a 15. You successfully oh. stopped the traffic, ah, Gideon. Bitch. Only, Hell yeah. only because of hacks. Needed some good news today. Barry's gonna pull out. Her his last bow. word was what? Uh, yes. <laughs> Put that on her tombstone. Remember, yes. Jabari uh, thinks of Tiragon's last words and whispers to himself, "This will be the answer," <laughs> and is going to. I'll fire on the prophet Gideon with advantage, uh, sharpshooter. So minus five. Okay. Twelve minus five is seven. Okay. 25 hits on the first one. Okay. A 26. Hits. So, nice. Two hits. That's 2d8. That's 2d6. I'll spend key points on both of them to make them both death strikes, <sighs> adding another set of d8s. Uh, plus 20 damage already. That's a lot of that's a lot I of I feel dice, like the baby. number you roll is going to be middle aged. Uh, and that's going to be 43 damage on the profit. Yeah! Game. Whoa! Nice. Yeah! He. Looks hurt. The castle has been compromised. It is going to be attacked. I am here as part of an evacuation crew to try to get as many people to safety as possible before that happens. I know that you hold clout with the knights and the guards, and I need you for their sake, for the sake of all the servants in here, to go rally people to evacuate to the sewers. I know. I ended on the word the sewers. sewers. That doesn't Ew, sound fun. Disgusting. I know. It's off, it sounds gross. <laughs> Do you see my PJs? I promise. I see your PJs. Yes. I, I'm... <sighs> I, uh, you know what? The I'm gonna sewers, go ahead. Disgusting. I know. Sa- saving all just... of the servants? Why? <laughs> you want me to just <laughs> crawl through the sewers with a bunch of guards? Ew. Yeah, cool. Shut the fuck up. Whoa. Here's the thing. I have a dragon dormant <laughs> inside of me. As I say this, my eyes are, my dragon eyes are like glittering gold. Smoke is pouring out of my nostrils. And if you want to live, if you want the people that you love to live, if you want the life that you love to continue as it is, you will gather the servants respectfully and you will take them, the guards, the knights to the sewers at which point you will be spared my wrath go ahead and give me an intimidation check it's gonna be a 19 on the die what i'm already already proficient i'm already proficient in intimidation so that's uh 26 i'll go ahead and roll my bond i got a four (laughs) damn i have soiled my pjs (laughs) good they're gonna get worse very well, but only because it was my idea. I think it's a, sp- I think it's a splendid idea that no, you presented. You know what? Now okay. you're on this train. We're not it's- getting off this track. You're going to tell everyone it was my yes, idea. It's your idea. It's a good idea. Route. And you're afraid it's of me. You're afraid of me. Say street. you're afraid of me. I am afraid of you. I'm afraid of everything, everyone. We need to evacuate. Everyone get out. I need every guard, every... Guard. And you know what? And you know what? You see that little night shawl you're wearing? You're going to put that in a pile of mud so that the servants don't have to get mud on their feet. I'm going to lay down in the sewer so every servant's guard at night steps on me and I have to literally eat shit. I'm going to literally stick my face in some sewage and eat a piece of shit. She didn't even ask you to do that. And I'm going to like it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to try to fucking hit him. Sweet. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I knew! Finally, all of my training has paid off! <laughs> Two hex bloods at once! 21 to hit. Fuck! That hits. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That's going to be seven damage, and I'm going to use a key point to try to stun him. Uh, what does he do? Constitution save? Yeah. 
All right. That is only an eight, um, but he is going to go ahead and burn a legendary resistance. All right, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to unhinge my jaw and breathe some fire on him so oh he has a yes. oh my God. Jabari, Jabari, look, look. Oh, hold on, I'm doing the splits to avoid going into a casket. Uh, oh, wait yeah, one my second. Mouth, my jaw is about to do the splits. <laughs> Cute fire. Uh, you open your mouth and uh, breathe fire. Uh, does he do a deck save or what? Yeah, he does a deck save. Okay. That one is a 16 to save. That might be what he needs. Deck save 16. Okay, so yeah, he does. He still takes half damage um, and I rolled well, so he still takes five damage. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna spend another key point to flurry of blows. Okay. Let's go. Uh, this time it's a dirty twenty. Does that hit? Dirty twenty does hit. Okay, that's ten more damage. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna spend another key point to try to stun him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I know what you're doing. Okay, let's see. He's got a plus four to con. That's a 15 to save. Yeah, that's a fail. Okay, 15 is a fail. Gonna have to burn another legendary resistance. Okay, uh, since I flurried a blows, I have one more unarmed attack. It's also gonna be a dir- uh, 21. Wow. So another another 10? I'm rolling the same numbers. Uh, another 10 damage, and then I'm gonna spend another key point to try to stun him again. Good <laughs> God, if there you burn all my legendary resistances in one turn, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can, you know what, new dice. Let's see if I can naturally beat this so that's stop having to miss, burn my fucking miss, shit. Beat miss, it naturally. Miss. Come on, Bert. God damn it. I rolled a nat four. Uh, burned third legendary resistance. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, I turn back to Jabari and Corbo and I say, I think he's ready to be stunned. <laughs> this wraith that is holding up Tarragon uh, from him emerge a bunch of tiny specters who begin flying around the room with spectral swords slashing just a thousand cuts. Um, Everybody go ahead and give me uh, dexterity saves. And I do that with disadvantage, right? Because I'm restrained. Yes. So Tarragon, you will have disadvantage on dex saves. Uh, Yeah. It's like avoiding insects almost. Uh, Jabari 25. Uh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Corbo got a 27. But I will, I will, I'll let you give me a little haircut if you want. Just take a little <laughs> off the bottom of the old pony. That's good. You're gonna take half damage already. Ah, oh, fuck. Cut off his pony. But leave the other eyebrow. With this advantage, I still got a seventeen. Uh, a seventeen actually passes. Um, yes. You guys, wow. all, it was seventeen was the DC. You guys see um, Tarragon as she's struggling, um, being choked uh, by this wraith. Um, you see, she's able to do some crazy acrobatics where she is putting her hands, putting just enough move to be able to move her neck enough that she's literally swinging her legs back and forth, dodging these dudes. I'm John Wick. Yeah, uh, you guys are all still uh, even half. They're still all going to take twenty damage. Well, wow. we have evasion. Ooh, so when if you, you subjected the effect that allows you to make a deck saving throw to take only half damage, you instead take no damage if you, you guys succeed on the saving throw. All take wow. no damage, and we only would have taken half damage if we failed. Good God, my God, you absolute Thank dickheads! You, Jabari looks back at the head in his backpack and says, "Why don't we introduce you to an old friend?" Uh, and I'm gonna. <laughs> charge uh, with the axe again. Uh, that is the nat 20 we've been Whoa! looking for. There he is. <laughs> Good yes. God. 23 points of damage on the first attack. Uh, he is uh, very, very hurt. Um, you see this, this headless monster um, falls to one knee um, as you strike him with the axe. Um, you, you feel a bunch of bones break. And you hear him grunt from inside your backpack. Oh, I still feel everything. This is good. Your body likes that. Uh, <laughs> can we see if the stunning strike works on the first attack? Yes. Okay. Uh, con DC's save. Still 16. Fucking stunning strike works. That's a, nat- <laughs> it's a natural six. Fuck me forever. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's a 17, but okay. it's not a 20. Uh, so that still hits. We'll do it's a D10. 17 points of damage. And then uh, because I used key this turn, I'll use a key empowered strike to use my bonus action for one more attack. All right. Wow. That's going to be a 25 to hit. Good God. (laughs) Uh, And that's going to be 18 more points of damage. Jabari. Yes. Finish him. 
good because I pictured this so perfectly. As I bring uh, the axe down, bringing him to both knees, I pull the head out of my backpack, place it back in place, uh, whip a arrow out of my quiver and jam it uh, back through the uh, head so that he is uh, as he should be. Skewered. So Jabari, yeah, you uh, place the head down. Um, you see um, through like necrotic energy um, begins to regenerate. You see his neck attaches um, back to his head. Um, he opens his mouth to like taunt you or say one last thing without uh, any words, without anything. Um, you shoot him back in the head uh, and it pins him to the ground. You skewer this horror and you see the king of the petty king of Outerboro, Thurston Brightleap, with fire burning all around him. It's almost like a funeral pyre. And Jabari miss. <laughs> would like to do uh, use the effects of emboldening bond. Yes. So this is. Nice. Protective bond. Uh, when a creature affected by our emboldening bond feature is about to take damage, a second bonded creature within 30 feet of it can use its reaction to teleport to an unoccupied space within five feet of the creature. The second creature then takes all the damage instead. So Jabari is going to <laughs> see Terragon uh, about to get hit with this coat of cold. Uh, think, not today. Uh, and just uh, and and appear and I'll take double cold? damage, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. Jabari, you take 80 damage. Cool. Oh, no. Are you? My God. No, no, no. Yeah, just frost covering your beard. Just this beam of frost hits you. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is what it means to be alive! Um, she's going to go ahead and chill touch Tarragon. Oh. Uh, 24 to hit. She'll be chill touching Corbo. What? Jumps in the way. I, I strafe right in front of <laughs> That damn straight thing. <laughs> she is going to legendary action. Use two of them. Once again, Cone of Cold beam both of you guys. You and Corbo. Uh, I, I'll take them both. <sighs> this king. This yes. is uh, guys, give me strafe twice. Guys, go ahead and give me um, both con saving throws. You'll only take... I do it with advantage okay, because so I'm... Everyone give me con saves. Let's corp go. <laughs> uh, that's a 20, Jesus, uh, 25. Okay. 19. Okay. Hmm. So she fails, so you're going to take half. I'm going to take nothing, right, because I have evasion? Evasion, I think it's... So I would take none of my own damage. So you damage. take none of your own damage, <laughs> but you take all of her damage. Great. Okay. Ah. So you take 38 Wait, damage. Wait, didn't... So 19 failed? Yes. Let me roll my d4 on Boltoning Bond. <laughs> Uh, 19 becomes 22. 22 passes. Yeah! You still take yes. you still take half of her damage because your uh right. your evasion is not going to apply to her, to this. jumping in front of her. Oh, that's um, like a quarter. Total. So you are going to take 19 damage. Oh damn, mom, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Oh yeah, because uh, Corvo got a 24. Okay, actually a 26. I got a 15. All right. So I'll just take Terry's. You're going to take... <laughs> oh, okay, so take you Holy take... Okay, shit. so 34 oh. damage to you, Corvo. All right. Shank hits her, swings through her. It cuts deep into her. And for a second, you're like, oh, shit, this is a fatal blow. But then she bursts into ravens that disperse and go out. And on her turn, you see the undead mummified body of her bursts from the debris oh. um, and is going to go ahead and cast one last finger of death on Corvo. Oh. Wait a second. Fia... No, Fia doesn't have a third level spell oh. to count spell. Never mind. Go ahead and give me a con saving throw. All right. For Corbo. Uh, sorry, old man. This one's for me. It's 14. Uh, that is a fail. Um, you are going to take 32 damage. Oh, Corbo had 31 oh. hit points. Corbo's ah. down. Corbo drops. After Corbo, and that then? is Jabari's turn. What about the death <gasps> ward? Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. I, I, yes. My yes. God. I was like, when are we? Yes. Murph wow. went and started talking to me, and I was like, so what are you doing? I so many pre-prepared <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
I totally we forgot. Hug. Corbo we pops back up. You yes, see, he does. you see Herodesia staggering this mummified version of her. Jabari, that is your turn. Uh, Jabari looks at his uh, his friends who are still in it after all this. <laughs> looks over at these young ones, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, and looks over at Lake, and then back at his friends and says. Oh. Uh, let us show the young ones what the old ones can do. Uh, Jabari's gonna throw away his bow. <laughs> Holy Take shit. out claw. <laughs> and just be like, Mama! Uh, and I'm just gonna run and just wail on her. Uh, Jabari wants this ending to be personal. So 142 <laughs> years young. Run in on her. Um, yeah, you see, like, unlike the other version of her that had, like, shield and everything, yeah. she's just a glass. Cannon. Yeah. As you get close to her, you swing into her. My favorite son, you don't have to do this. Uh, Jabari must. Jabari's family is here, and there, and it is nowhere else. Um, and I'm gonna take that swing. Oh, first one is a beautiful 27. Yes. Uh, second attack. Uh, is is uh, we're, we're not gonna talk about it. It's not <laughs> okay. um, we'll blow a key point to make it a death strike. Uh, that's gonna be uh ten. That's gonna be fifteen points of damage. Okay. Uh, we'll spend another key point to make that a stunning strike. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. that's a DC seventeen. Uh, Constitution. Here's saving the throw. thing, though, Jabari. What's the thing? She doesn't need to save. Okay. Because she's already dead. Yes. Yeah! Jabari, finish her. Yes! Wow. Take us on a ride! Oh. I mean, I think it is, it's just, I think it is just, it's just one fluid motion. Like, it's just him throwing down his bow, seeing his two friends, knowing that all the family, I don't know, he thinks back to the memory uh, of the banishment and where he was and the idea of legions of... Hex bloods, and that's not what Jabari wants anymore. Jabari just wants what he has, uh, and is just going to uh, bring it hard, uh, bring the axe hard through her chest, and then back down across her neck uh, to just trisecting her. Is that what yeah. it's called? You absolutely destroy her. 